Hi everyone, welcome back to the Academy here at Chesterfield Golf Club. Lovely to have you along, thank you very much for joining us. My name is Warren Bennett and in the corner here, my fairy assistant Trev, no doubt you'll see him walking around the Academy from time to time. We have a slicing series for you now. Different to the, the, um, the uploads we have for the single videos, this is going to be done in five parts. We're going to break it down, we're going to break the spring down into the different elements and the final element is all going to be about gelling our swing together and how we can take it to the course. Slicing is obviously a very difficult thing that golfers have a lot of trouble doing. So what we're going to do, we're going to, in all these videos, we're going to give you some of our uh, fixes and, and tips and some of the pitfalls that people fall into. Now I've written them down, but today's going to be grip, address and alignment. Very, very important. If we can set up to the ball um, correctly, we've got a great chance to then execute um, a repeatable swing and one that doesn't slice. Um, a couple of days later, so on Thursday, so if you're watching this on the Tuesday, on Thursday, it's all going to be about the backswing and how we can give ourselves the best possibility to then swing down to the ball. On Saturday, it's going to be about the downswing and pre-impact. So some of the, some of the um, exercises and thoughts that we can deliver this club more from the inside instead of over the top. Um, next Monday, we're going to have post-impact and follow-through. Now, mo most of the follow-through is done with what's gone beforehand. So it's a byproduct of what's gone before. But we can give you some exercises and some thoughts um, about the follow-through. And then the final one, the fifth video, so it's going to be on Wednesday the 15th, if you're watching this, Wednesday the 15th of February. And um, it's all going to be about gelling these thoughts together, because obviously we can't take all these thoughts on the golf course. Way too much thought, we need something simple. Okay, let's get going. Grip, address and alignment. Okay, hearing grip, dress and alignment might not sound important, but it's very important how we set up the ball and especially how we grip the club. Now I've done a previous video in the past about um, how we grip and how it can help us stop slicing the ball. Um, but just quickly, I will put um, a link in the description about that previous video that you can watch. But what you're looking for is your top hand, so your left hand, to be more across your hand like this and so more in your fingers. So the more you have it in your fingers and across, especially the end of your index finger here to the top of your little finger, the more you can have it there, the more the, your hand can wrap over. So what's now called a strong grip. If you've got the opposite, so as I look down, it's on the left from the camera view, it's more to the right. Having a weak grip can really um, stop the club swinging around you effectively and how we use and how we hinge this club. So the more we can get this club and your grip stronger, the more effective we can use our hands and arms. So our top hand needs to be, as you look down, more of a three knuckle grip instead of a one knuckle. So any grip change is gonna feel very strange. And it's the same with our right. If you can make sure, so it doesn't really matter if we have an interlocking, overlapping or a baseball, I'd recommend either an interlocking or the overlap grip. But our right hand grip is the same, it's across our fingers. So this index finger of our right, it's on our, the end of that. And that's gonna make our hand and that left thumb disappear over the top. So we've got a really good connection with the club because let's face it, the only thing we've got connection with is our hands. So the more we can make that fundamental correct, the easier chance we've got to execute um, a, a better pass at the ball. So, number one, more of a finger grip. Number two is we would like our right shoulder to be down a little bit out of the dress. Now, if you have a, a right shoulder that's higher and especially over the top, so it's open, so you can see from behind view there, my shoulders are open and my right arm is on top, it's gonna to be really difficult then to swing the club correctly and make the correct adjustments from there. So what we're looking for is the right shoulder to be much lower. Now, a good little exercise that we can do is take your normal stance, Get your right hand off, put it beside you, and then just try and keep everything there and just try and touch the end, the end of your knee. And then from there, keep everything the same and then they introduce the right hand. So you can see from the behind view that you can now see my left arm. And you want this nice, soft right arm. That's gonna promote an inside path to the ball. The, the opposite is gonna promote 
outside over the top and across so there's your slice so the first two finger and then shoulder so you're just trying to kind of just kink your shoulders back and behind it will probably shut your shoulders a little bit which is fine okay that's number two let's move on to number three okay number three is weight and where we put our weight at address the more we can have our weight on our heels so back away from the ball the easier it is for this club to then swing correctly People have too much weight on their toes, so if you have the too much weight on your toes coming down, which we'll explain in the later video, the easier it is for this club to come out. So if you go towards the, the ball with your weight, it's gonna encourage the club to do so as well. So as you can see from the behind video, you don't want the weight on your toes. So especially at the start of your swing, you don't wanna to be toppling over and, and, and bowing over too much. So, Back away from the ball, that will make your bum stick out a little bit, which is a good thing. Just try and take the weight off your toes there. So you see a lot of professionals, before they hit the ball, they're moving their feet up and down, taking the weight off their toes. So really try and back away. If you're used to having your weight on your toes, it's gonna to feel really strange, this one. But what you're looking for throughout the swing is having your weight back on your, on your ankles, on your heels more, instead of over to your toes. So what, we're encouraging that, so to start, we must do the same. Four. Okay, number four is alignment. Two ways that people slice the ball, and they either, they either aim left too much, so they're trying to counteract this slice by aiming more left to try and get the ball back to the center. That's gonna exaggerate the slice, you're gonna come across it more, and that's gonna make it even more difficult, especially if there's some trouble off the tee. Or, what I see quite a lot of, the people that slice, they aim too far right, and they have to now come over it to square it up. So exaggerated from the behind view, if I was aiming too far right, after a period of time, I know the target's behind me, so I'm going to have to come over the top to square it up. And that can introduce a slice spin as well. So you're looking to be relatively square. Remember, we don't want anything, we don't want anything, sorry, that was Trev there, making a bit of a noise. We don't want anything too excessive. Don't want anything too far left or right. So round about, if we can, let's square up. You can put a club down on the floor, a little stick. And then from here, our shoulder angle and our right arm soften will make this slightly shut anyway, which is a good thing, because you want your right hand under your left arm like, was, like we used explained before. So the more you can get in a good setup position, it's gonna make everything else after that much easier to execute. If you get in a wrong position, then you're gonna to have to make some big compensations. And the more compensations we have, the less repeatable it is, and the more inconsistent it can be. So one exercise I like to give any of my clients is feet together, hands out in front of you, club parallel to the ground, arms resting on top of your, on top of your chest. Club in my fingers. Okay, so we're standing as straight as we can, now we're gonna keep all the angle the same. We're gonna bow down until the club hits the floor. We're not just gonna drop the club on the floor. We're gonna keep this angle the same. Little step, big step. And that's relatively in the stance we're looking for. We have to soften this arm a little bit, give it a little waggle, keep the grip nice and light. You don't want any tension coming through the hands. And there we go. Show you that one more time. You can do it with the feet wide apart to start with. Stand up straight. Arms on top of your chest, nice and light with the grip. Make sure it's in your fingers. Club parallel to the ground. Now we're bowing over, keeping the angle of the club and wrist the same. Bend your knees slightly, soften everything, give everything a little waggle, and there we go. You may have to soften that right arm a little bit more than you think. So thank you very much for watching. Um, that's the end of the first video. Thank you very much. I appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for everyone's comments. If you'd like to leave a comment and a question, um, I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't neglect this stance and this posture and especially the grip. Keep everything nice and light. We're looking for a nice little bit of softness at the dress. Remember, we're trying to set ourselves up for success. So to make everything, this, everything a little bit easier going forward. So a couple of days time, we've got the back backswing. So for myself and the furry assistant Trev here, we'll see you next time. Many thanks, bye-bye.